Cracking is Nando STL. This is the lyric breakdown slash interview thing. What we call this? So my granny said it's a new release. I started the song off with the uh, tribute to my favorite rapper, DMX. Damn, I lost DMX. I really hope you rest in peace. Learn so much from the dog. A nigga earned a pedigree. Uh, DMX is my favorite rapper. Uh, and he passed away. Rest in peace to the dog. Uh, he used to bark a lot in a lot of his songs. He had a lot of mentions of dogs. So his nickname was The Dog. So uh, I took that. Of course, when you graduate school, you earn a degree. So I kind of put it together. And I learned so much from being next. I earned a pedigree. That's what came Then I just kind of rolled it out with the knick-knack, throw that shit back. The knick-knack, patty whack, give it all the ball. Um, I switched it up. Give a thug a bone. Juice all on my collarbone like I got a collar on. If you ain't got no check for me, don't check for me. I'm not at home. Get to black and over the green like I'm camouflage. When you wear camouflage pants, it's usually like black on top of green spots with brown. So it's basically saying, if you don't have no money for me, then mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll get to blacking out, like tripping over my money. So I get to blacking over the green camouflage. New phone, who this? Had to cut some niggas off. Um, and that nigga Dram say, um, you didn't got left if you ain't got my new number. I'm just like on the rise out here. Sometimes you just gotta cuss some niggas off to move them forward. Jewish, you look this good. Mazel tov, Jewish, as in like you wish. You wish, Jewish, it's a reach. But I made it work. Um, Mazel tov. In Jewish, that it stands for good luck. So, you wish you look this good. I'm saying look, but I'm saying it like luck. Like, good luck, look this good. Mazel tov. So, it was a play on the Jewish language. Line under the lines, like a double line topic or some shit like that. Don't too much be bothering us, what would we be bothered for? Guess they call it whining, cause you keep your feelings bottled up. Wine goes in a bottle. Your feelings, people hold things in all the time. Um, and then when you finally like explode on people, instead of saying when it happens, like addressing it when it happens, it comes off as you whining, a bitch. So that's what they're saying. I guess they call it whining, cause you keep your feelings bottled up. And it gets better over time. Just like that bottle does, you gonna miss your calling, you keep falling in and out of love. A lot of times we get caught up in like our love situation or your family or your friends, and you be so busy focused on falling in and out, niggas not calling you back no more, women not talking to you, trying to fit in, that you miss what your actual purpose in life is, because you focus on everybody else instead of focusing on what you was doing. So get focused. They looking for some insight on the way my pen write, it suits me. I go line for line like a pinstripe, it suits me. Basically just saying I'm in my own skin, you know what I'm saying? I don't copy after nobody, I don't try to sound like nobody else. When you listen to my music, it's not really a traditional St. Louis sound. Um, so everybody trying to figure out how I do it. And it just suits me, it's just me, you know what I'm saying? Then when you buy a pinstripe, a pinstripe suit, it goes line after line after line. Basically when I write my music, I just write one line after line. This little Uzi make my shoulders shake and kick like hip only. Uh, little Uzi, and so that's a play. It's on play on the gun. Um, a Uzi when you shoot it, it make my shoulders shake because it's kicking so hard, like the Pokemon hip only. You only got legs, but it's also a play off of uh, little Uzi the rapper because if you follow little Uzi, you know he do this little dance where he like shake his shoulder or some shit. So uh, I'm saying this little Uzi make my shoulder shake. Flow like water, flow like water, bitch, you water, take a drink. Tell your Jesus, tell your Jesus, can't no nigga walk on me. So it's basically like a Bible reference. I put a lot of like church references in all my music. Um, I got heavy gospel influences on me. So essentially, what I'm saying is, I flow like water. My flow is just smooth, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I come in on the beat, it's just form and fits, my form fits and whatever the beat is doing, I know exactly how to like flow right over the top of it. Just like water. When you pour water over anything, it takes the shape of whatever you just pour it or pour it into it. Jesus tell yo, Jesus can't no nigga walk on me. I'm basically just saying that no matter who you praise, worship, no matter who you look up to, your dad, your manager, your other favorite rapper, ain't nobody finna step on me. I'm here to stay and I'm my, my own person. Black King, yeah, I done put some worry in they eyes. Napkin, niggas, get to acting square around the whites. My accent came from the most north for the sides. They gonna paint me on a wall when I die. So that line is basically saying, I'm just proud of who I am, proud of my heritage, where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm a black guy. 
Um, so I'm proud of that. And basically, no matter what room I'm in, no matter where I go, I'ma always still be my authentic self. That's really all I'm referencing. There. When I say napkins, get to acting square around the whites. I'm talking about people who act a certain way when they're around a certain group of people, but they like change all of their mannerisms just because they're around another group of people. Um, yep. Uh, they gonna paint me on the wall when I die. Basically, I'm a St. Louis legend. I feel like mm, I've done a lot here. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of support from my hometown. I think I represent it well, and in the case that sooner or later we all gonna get up out of here one day, um, that I wanna be on the Mount Rushmore of uh, St. Louis artists. You can buy some Jordans, you can appreciate them, but soon as you take them hoes off, they start to appreciate them. Basically, you can buy whatever you wanna buy. You can buy J's, you can buy a little bullshit, you can buy jewelry, but soon as you wear it out, you know what I'm saying, soon as you dry that car off the lot, um, the value of that shit go down. So make sure you invest in yourself and you invest in things that's gonna appreciate. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And the hook say, diamonds all in my kitchen sink, they fall out when I brush my teeth. Don't hide your hand if you throwing stones. Basically, rappers keep a lot of jewelry and shit in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was planning on like appreciating value, appreciating things. But um, you got other rappers who are really intelligent. They always talk about dropping jewels. And that's something that I always wanted to make sure I do. So I'm saying I got a mouth full of jewels, not necessarily diamonds, but even when I brush my teeth, wisdom be falling out into the sink. Then I start dropping some jewels. Like, don't hide your hand if you're throwing stones. Don't be all the niggas business if you're doing the same thing. Stop being so judgmental. Um, don't nothing good come from doing wrong. Just be a stand-up guy, man. Don't be no hoe. Oh, and don't sell your soul, nigga. Sell your songs. You know what I'm saying? I done had a couple deals on the table. Um, a couple of situations and opportunities that have been presented to me. And I'm appreciative of those things. But what they offering does not match my value or my worth now or in the near future. So we had to part ways. I sell these songs, but they will never sell my soul. It's my granny shit.